My good friend Gerard Slabat from Air Hunters is not only someone that I really enjoy hanging out with, but he's also an extremely experienced and competent shooter and happens to have a boatload of unpublished scope cam footage that is just sitting on a hard drive somewhere and not being appreciated by the world. So today we are going to change that. At the end of 2019, Gerard joined me at the Wittmorskloof Conservancy to film a few episodes for the Oxwagon Diary series and we went on to film a Dussie hunt with the new Element Nexus scope and some other cool new products on a last day. Unfortunately, I can't publish this video yet because of some of the cool stuff that we were using that hasn't been released yet. But in the meantime, I thought we could look at some of the Dussie hunting clips that Gerard has gathered by himself over the past year or so on his family farm. Gerard grew up on a farm in a mountain range called the Cedarburg, which might just hold the densest population of Dassies in the whole of South Africa. The rocky landscape is just perfect for them and this is where all of the scope cam footage that you're going to see today was filmed. The Dassies in the Cedarburg are completely wild so it's difficult to get close-ups of them but here are a few clips that are filmed on Table Mountain a couple years ago which is only about an hour's drive from Gerard's hunting spot. It's a popular tourist spot and the Dassies are used to humans. In fact, they are a little bit of a nuisance. This one, for example, stole this lady's ice cream and proceeded to just eat the whole thing, cardboard and wrapper included. They do look like cute little hamsters, but they are also a sought after meal for many of the rural farm workers. So many South African farmers hunt them every now and again. I thought it would be nice for Gerard to do his own commentary here. So enough talking from me, over to Mr. G. I spot these two hiding away from the wind behind a big boulder. And like you can see, I'm holding off quite a bit for the wind. I pull the trigger, the slug curls in beautifully, and it's a perfect neck shot. Came over. This next shot was nice and close on 50 yards. I go for the head and I switch them off instantly. Dussies is masters when it comes to camouflage. I barely see the second Dussie next to the one I'm aiming on. But after I make the shot, I see him leap up and I manage to knock him down with another perfect headshot. Yeah. Right. Your shooting angle will be upwards most of the time and this can get very tricky. Don't be surprised if you miscalculate a couple of shots and you find yourself shooting a bit high. For this reason alone I always advise going for head shots. If you aim for the head you will either miss high or if you make the shot it will be an instant kill. Now remember what I told you about steep angles? Well, here's a very good example of a miscalculation. But luckily for me, I got a second chance and I made it count. You see, this was sort of in the I usually go for a PCP that is high powered and that can shoot slugs very well. The FX Impact has always been my go-to gun when it comes down to dusty hunting. The combination of accuracy and power just makes this gun the perfect tool for the job. Here's another good example why headshots are so effective. 90 yards away and just look how I switch this one off. Dassey hunting is a waiting game and you need to have patience when you want to outsmart this little animal. They only come out of their burrows mid-mornings and afternoons when the sun is nice and hot. The Dassey's biggest predators is falcons and eagles. So if you see them flying close by, don't be surprised if you won't see them at all. Dasseys are among some of our favorite small game animals to hunt in South Africa. Not only because they provide a real challenge and test our ability to take precise shots in testing conditions and distances, 
but also because they are really unique animals. They look like they could be rodents, but they aren't in the rodent family at all. It might surprise you what they are related to. The dasi is related to the elephant and has small tusks that develop from the incisor teeth. Dasi, like elephants, have flattened hoof-like nails on the tips of their toes rather than curved claws seen on other mammals. Dasi feet have black rubbery pads that are moistened by sweat glands. The pads lift up in the center for suction cup-like effect that helps them to keep their grip on rocky surfaces. You can see these little animals leap across rocks with no effort at all. Yeah. Dussies can hide themselves very well in rocky terrains and sometimes it could be difficult to spot them. Best places to find them is usually high up on the rocks or if you look very carefully you will spot them inside their holes. I think it's net bit lager this. Can you get out? Yeah. Klaar. 207 yards. Here is the longest two shots on this video. I know my rifle is capable of making shots like this and I've built up a lot of shooting experience over the years. Both these shots was over 200 yards. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> A bit of advice I can give you is to practice on windy days. Choose a random rock and try to hit it on your first attempt. Also practice shooting on steep inclines to master your holdover. Believe me, this will make life a lot easier in the hunting field, especially in real conditions. 156. Came over. <laughs> I remember this shot very well. I had the farmer next to me when I made this shot on 156 yards. And you can still hear the giggle in disbelief as the dusty was dead on impact. Just another example of how effective the slugs is on longer ranges. Now if you guys want to see a perfect headshot, have a look at this. This was out on 70 yards and this one hit him right between the eyes. Dusties love to hide away and you have to look carefully not to miss them. In this case, this little fella tried to hide away from me behind this small little bush. This dusty took a solid hit from a 26 grain slug and you can hear that loud smack echo through the rocks. A perfect headshot. The wind was howling when I made this next shot. Even though my slug had a superior BC, I still had to hold a lot for the side wind on 102 yards. Oh! <laughs> 102 yards! This guy was looking straight down the barrel and it was a perfect invitation for a headshot. 26 to 34 grain hollow point slugs has been the most favorite choice in weight. Shooting them anything between 900 to 1000 feet per second has given me the best results so far. Sometimes I use structures close to me as cover. In this case, I laid prone behind wooden poles and this dusty was unaware of the danger that was lurking close by. <laughs> I also want to add that the hunting that you saw today is part of wildlife management. In certain areas, the numbers of these animals need to be controlled and in other areas, they can be seen as agriculture pests. With that we come to the end of another hunting video and this one is all thanks to Gerard. So if you like the footage, don't just like and subscribe to my channel but check out Air Hunters as well and follow Gerard on Instagram. And keep an eye out for the next Oxwagon Diaries episode, it's going to be absolutely awesome. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys then.